The Alger Theater, an 86-year-old movie theater that many of us might have passed by and asked ourselves, what is this building and what happened to it? So in 1935, uh, uh, this theater was built and it was one of really hundreds of neighborhood theaters uh, in the city of Detroit uh, uh, back then. And uh, the neighborhoods needed entertainment, so the idea of each neighborhood basically having a cinema to go to was uh, what the structure was back then. Um, people walked to the theater. There was no parking per se. Today, unfortunately, um, there are only three that remain, and we are one of them. There's the Redford Theater on the west side and the Senate Theater, and we are the only existing such theater on the east side. So the original owner was uh, a guy by the name of George Trendle, and uh, he built a lot of theaters in the day. Um, and when he built this one, again, it was for the neighborhoods, so we didn't have uh, a parking lot. Uh, it was all street parking or you would get dropped off, or you would walk because of all the, uh, the density of, of the neighborhoods around here. Um, and then during the years, uh, it was very, uh, you know, it was, it, it, the theater thrived during the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, there started to be a little bit of trouble in the city. Uh, and then in the 70s, the theater was sold to Irv Steiner, uh, who was the second owner of the theater. And what he did is that he took the first uh, four or five rows out of the theater of seats and bumped out a stage, a platform stage. And at that point, what they started to do here was not only show films, because they continued to show films, but they did like concerts and theater plays and uh, other events uh, like that. So one of the big uh, attractions uh, when Irv Steiner opened the theater uh, in the 70s was big bands. Uh, and uh, the Duke Ellington Orchestra played here, the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra played here, um, Buddy Rich, I believe, was here as well. Uh, so those kinds of events, there was also a, a, a rock band that played here called Blood, Sweat and Tears in 1976 or 77. Uh, so that kind of changed from the neighborhood theater to more of an events uh, type theater until the 80s, the early 80s when uh, the third owners of the theater took over and they turned it into a uh, kind of a, a, a horror show, a B-film type theater and uh, that brought in obviously a different crowd than the Duke Ellington Orchestra. Uh, and uh, that's what led to the unfortunate uh, fire that occurred uh, in August of 85. And like I said, the day after the theater has been closed. The building is now owned by the Friends of the Elder Theater, a nonprofit organization built by the community. And they are working on breathing a new life into the Elder Theater. <laughs>